back in the shop, man. About to get it in, get some work in progress on this road glide. So we get this thing rolling and on its way. So stay tuned, we work about to get this thing together, get some of these pieces on this joint. So we're about to uh, get some working on this road glide. Now um, we got all the powder coated parts over here on the floor. We got majority of everything, not everything, but majority of the black belt parts on here. So we got everything in here. We're gonna get some of them parts out, like the uh, primary, the leg. We're really gonna start with the legs first. We're gonna put these legs together, get the legs together with the uh, lower bottoms, but that's now blacked out. Get the boat in there, let's uh, put them on here. Now, these cans is damaged, that's why I did not powder put these. I'm gonna get them actually off. I'm gonna try to get him to buy some aftermarket ones, like uh, these ones right here or even some original regular pins, but I just know that one is damaged and these fresh wheels gotta have everything else looking accordingly with it. So we're gonna pop them legs off, I mean the clips, up, and then put the legs on, swap them out with some new ones. But I wanna get the bike at least rolling, get a glimpse what that wheel look like. So we're about to do this, so stay tuned and check it out. If you haven't learned already, I gonna learn today. So, we got the legs. These are the same legs from 2014 to 21. I believe 14 they started. 13 was the older ones. You get them powder coated like me. You gotta be mindful and tell them, be careful with the inside where the bearing has to go with the grease and everything. You don't want them to powder coat this and stop it from going inside. Now this was like the standard gray, we got it blacked out like way better, nice and clean. This is gonna give it just a different look than the ordinary gray because the wheels and everything just blacked out on this bike now. So like I was telling y'all before, just make sure you have this cup at the bottom with silver piece on top of the boat because this thing does slide on and off. You will forget it, you never done it. But it just goes on there. Then we gotta put this inside and put the bolt back to the bottom. But before we do that, these clamps lock it down. And before we even do that, we're gonna grease it up. So this is the best thing I've learned doing is, is have this grease hot and ready. Put it everywhere, it has to slide just to make the whole job nice and easy. So I put it right here around the edge where it goes in. Now. Down, play with it. And 
and really you can look through like I just did right now. Sometimes I can use a flathead like I'm doing now and straighten out the hole just so the bolt can go right in and go straight into the threads. So just gotta play with it a little bit. There we go. Then we pop the threads, we can tighten this thing up. It move like that. I put a flathead inside the brake hole to hold it. It's kind of big for me to do it. Once you get it tight, you want to make sure this, especially if you have these exact gear, make sure these are super tight because the fluid will leak out the bottom. It's not like the older bikes, 99 to 13, where it's fluid goes to the top. We're going to tighten it again once we get it onto the bike. That tightens the crossing real quick. Get that done. We're going to push the seal down so we can get this clamp in. So we get the clamp in, it's a done deal, and it'll be good to go. But we're not there yet. So as y'all can see, I use this little uh, hose right here. My chair is broke right now, so I gotta get another one. But uh, anyway, I use this hose, uh, like a vacuum hose. You can get a tube in from like a hardware store, like Home Depot or Lowe's. But this seal basically, I mean, the hole sits right above the seal exactly on the edges for it to go down if I hit it from the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this down. I got a rubber mallet so it don't cause no damage. You can just feel it go down in one to like two, three hits. I just do it to be sure. But with that grease, it makes it beyond easy. Just like that, we got the seal all the way down, nice and perfect. This is when you put this little ring in, and the ring basically keeps it locked. So, that's that. Now, we put our fluid in from the bottom. That's why I'm gonna torque the boat down. So, flat in. You want to put it around the leg just to give it the same type of comfort and everything. It's going to make it slide nice and easy. So that's what you want to do. Too much going on without finishing some. 
y'all don't understand is this is work. This is what I wanted. This is what I got. This is what I want, and I'm gonna deal with it. So what I mean by that is you probably overloading at your job right now, but you're doing somebody else's work. You're not doing your work. You got a job handling somebody else's problems. So it's easy to sit here and point somebody else's problems out to them. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, this is what we're doing. I'd rather do this all day for myself and other people than be out here working a job for somebody else, getting called boy, and getting big crumbs. So let's not put too much thinking and too much hate into somebody else's business and craft if we're not even doing our own or putting that same type of energy into our own. So that's how I feel about it. And we working every day enjoying this. So I got to tell everybody else, man, keep watching the show. Because I'm doing something I like, making some cool little men and men. I'm enjoying it, having the time of my life. So this is what it's about, y'all. But anyway, we're knocking these legs out. The top boat in, like I said, you don't want to tighten it too much because we have to go right back to this. Literally, get our uh, fluid inside. Always a hair dog. Always lose some type of gap there. So, like I was just saying earlier, I'm about to go ahead and try to put the wheels on. I'm gonna uh, pop these cans off, wait for the new ones to come. Then we're gonna put them legs we just blacked out up on here. So, let's get it, see how it turned out. Keep it going, man. Get all these blacked out pieces on this joint. I'm gonna make a trip to a people's house so I can try to get the boats, but I wanted to show you guys what these wheels looking like, man. These things look good. Woo, I can't wait. I'm about to just finish getting all these pieces on here. I'm gonna have this thing looking amazing. So, next thing's next. We're gonna go ahead and transfer the rotors to the wheels and, uh, get the cans and we're gonna get the bolts from the crib from his house so we can go ahead and put all the little pieces back on the motor but this just showed me right here man this thing is about to look so good together it's crazy these wheels is it you sliding man it's coming together little by little trying to make as much progress as possible so stay tuned 